Oh hey everyone and ahoy everyone and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian today, along with Hey it's your mighty first mate Drakir at your service. I almost said I almost missed that one up. <laughs> so it's back to first mate. More of a almost it Dr Drakent or something like combined in Lieutenant Drake for some reason. Anyways. I uh, welcome to Showcase Sunday number 92, keeping ever closer to 100, and I'm pretty sure I've said that like three times before now. And yeah, uh, Showcase Sunday is where we show off some four to six games typically, uh, to see if they're any good for streaming at some other points. So yeah, the first game that we have today is Hidden Deep, which looks very uh, Barrow Trauma-like, but... Uh, underground instead of underwater, though technically still underwater. But yeah, according to the intro bit, we were sent down to investigate the di uh, this place basically going inactive for more than a f <laughs> over a year and a half, nearly two, 681 days. Uh, yeah, that is about uh, six, two months short of a two years. Uh, three <laughs> That's a serious problem, like... Maybe, sure, you may expect it, it, it be a thing to not think about if you expect them to report once a year or something, but if you expect them to have almost constant communication, and you wait two years? Yeah. What the heck, dude? <laughs> then again, it, it probably could have taken that long to even get an expedition prepped to send over here because there's very obviously not an elevator or shaft to the surface so uh, yeah also the outside pressure you need a very 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 sturdy submarine to even get here and i yeah. would not be surprised yeah. at all if this is at the bottom of the mariana trench yeah or some other planets yeah i think it's on earth but We'll get more info when we start. So, uh, let's see. Difficulty, expedition. You want to focus on the story oh. and all unique activities. Deep Is exploration. this game? Uh, you've heard it. <laughs> you've seen of it before. I think. I've, yeah, I think I've seen it uh, a little bit of it. Uh, so I played it up while uh, doing something else on computer, so I was mostly seeing it on the side. Okay, let's go with. Deep exploration or medium difficulty, and let's start the timer here. Let's see, day one. Okay, deeper insights. And you can see why I drew a comparison to Barrow Trauma earlier, because this is very similar to that. You have WASD to move. E for interacting. Okay. I would not be surprised if they made this game, and if it was same team. Okay, falling risk. You'd think they would put up a bit more than just a little throwing bit. Let's see. Main gate is closed, but it's an alternative way. Take a crank and use it in the mechanism nearby. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's, I think it's more likely that they, it runs on the same engine. Okay. There we go. Okay, we're part of an expedition. So we're not just the only one here. Let's see. Okay, we can climb down. Easy now. Let's see, extraction zone. There. We don't want to shatter our ankles because I'm pretty sure there is fall damage in this game. Let's see, shift to run. Okay, oop, I'm pretty sure there is. Okay. Crawling, st typical st tutorial stuff. Okay. Grappling hook. Okay. I think I seen Mr. Falcon and Markiplier play this. Yeah, I, I used to watch Falcon for a while, but then uh, he's still just doing the. Uh, uh, wait, did the rope vanish? Okay. He's still doing the. That can be the whole, uh, yeah, clickbait like thumbnail stuff. We're just seeming over focused on uh, loot stuff. Okay, that's how easy you can die. 
Yeah. I still watch them for... I'm... I'm mostly watch the, the videos they actually make a series of. Okay. Maybe I'll give them another try sometime then, but... Yeah, first impression that I had of watching his videos again was not good. Yeah, he's not for everyone, I can see that. But I feel like he, the, the videos he kind of more shines on are those he actually make a series of. Okay, uh, that goes down quite a lot deeper. Uh. So, yeah, do we have limited ammo of this thing, or unlimited? Oh, oh wait, there's a ladder. Oh well, we got down the fancy way. No, not... Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Definitely seems like a dog do deep, too deep kind of thing, huh? Yeah. Okay, we can go prone, even. Okay. Okay, we have our ammo over here. Yep, over here. Let's see, I might just not... Oops. You. Okay, it's, it's a toggle to pull out your pistol. Twenty health that's, from those things. That is a, that's a hard bite. Uh, let's see. Can't see the bottom. So, it is a damn big fly, after all. Yeah. Let's see. Okay, we have that range. Let's go up a little bit. I kind of wonder if this game is fully released for... When, when the other two YouTubers I watched play this, I think it was in early access. But they only did a mm. preview of it. Mm. Oh, that can't be good. Hmm. There's some more passages above. Let's focus down on this. Okay, it's got out a worm of sorts. Keep reloading. Keep going down safe. Can we even... Yes, we can pull out our pistol whilst we're dangling like this. Okay. Let's just keep progressing. Oh, hello. Let's see, not so fast. Kill the ceiling tentacle before it kills you on your first encounter. Okay. Uh, yeah, I only knew about this thing because of the trailers I've seen. Okay. Give me that. That. More ammo. Okay. I will be sure to investigate for it. would be comical if it is the same team who made the Burrow Trauma made this. Uh, would be curious. Um, actually, hmm, I'm gonna be surprised if this actually was the first game. If that's the case, for I'm this came out before Bird Drama. Not too sure on that myself. It's, okay, we do have rope physics, so we can just get swung up along and around things. Ooh. Slippery surface. Okay. Yep. Shooting at walls attracts creatures. Uh... Okay, nice misdirect game. <laughs> Unless they're just coming around right now. Okay, we can lower and keep our pistol out. Okay, there's a little bit of a blind spot right underneath us. Okay. 
Hmm. Is that a dead end? Golden goblet? It, have you found the holy? <laughs> it's a key. Oh. Oh. What the? Yep. Okay, the game got deselected for a bit, and apparently we can. <laughs> okay, this is good that it gives you a big zoom like this. We can put yeah, that away. Yeah, and also, uploaded for. I was hoping we found the holy grail. <laughs> <laughs> okay, can we swing? We can swing. There we go. Let's keep this thing ready. And load it. Something is... Let's see, there's something... There's another shaft up there. Let's see. Let's... I heard something. Okay. Hmm. How's your so, legs? Okay, so the bastards can respawn. Oh, I hit something else there. I think I accidentally shot out a light. <laughs> yeah, I accidentally shot out one of the lights. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh. Basically, means this is a game where you need to be careful where you aim. Yeah. Okay, I'm guessing the laser sight also gives a bit of a effect of range. So, if, it typically takes two shots to take these things out. But if you're out of range, it will each shot will deal less damage. Okay, let's go investigate here. Okay, nothing. Hmm... I'm suspicious of that. Then again, caves... Uh, hello. Okay. We didn't get anything about of this. We have grappling hook, terror scanner, uh, just rope, scan ball, and the pistol. Okay. Uh, it's a bit hard to see, but I think that it says a six or something. Probably it, it, we only have a limited amount. Okay. Either way... Um, I get the feeling if we do this, we're just going to slap into the side of the wall. Uh, let's actually just try that. Up and... Okay, I, I was fully expecting a George of the Jungle moment there. Damn it, I, I, I was planning to do one. <laughs> okay. We now know that those things can appear uh, oh. behind us. Damn you. I thought first there was a piece of bread somehow had landed on my screen, but I realized that was your mouse. <laughs> okay. It uh, looks so tiny uh, at the uh, moment that they didn't recognize it as a computer mouse. There we go. Okay. Yeah, definitely need to keep that thing topped off. I don't think we've been losing ammo and yeah we've got a map of the area around here we'll probably get instructed on the other tools that we have in a bit oh, slide down yeah, probably it probably would have popped up if we'd well used the actual damn ladder earlier okay we've got a key for this now Let's see what is now take the elevator down to the next sector. Hmm. Uh, I'm not sure if this was made by the same people as Barrow Trauma. Oh, shift and then click. Uh, but it is very it is running on a very similar engine at the least. Let's see. Thomas S. Uh ta -da -da. Men losses. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, we started with the Murphy. Okay. So it's going to keep track of how many people... Uh, okay, day 17. Uh, that's a bit of a jump from day 1 to day 17. 
Or is that supposed to mean that these... Does that mean that with each time we lose someone, they have to send someone down again and they have to get through the same stuff or something? Yeah, let's Maybe. See. And also, I think you can agree, it does have a lot of battle trauma feel to it, in a way. Yeah, ooh, there's gunk down there. Oop. Now we're Murphy again? Ow. So much for Murphy. <laughs> oh, Murphy. It still says Murphy. Okay. Hmm. Then something is going on that I'm not fully understanding. Okay. Really? There's a ladder. Okay then, we'll do this the hard way. Is the, is the ladder slippery because of all of the blood or something? Yeah, probably there's more than just blood on it. Okay, need a key code for that. Now this looks like a generator of sorts. Let's see, door control. Okay, access locked. Staff lock. Mark Gottenberg. Situation is critical. Contamination inside D219 is out of control. We have to blast the entire tunnel to cut it off permanently. Operation will start on 15... Uh, uh, 15.30 today. Or 30 today. Shaft 03 will be temporarily inaccessible. Regards, Mark Gottenberg. Okay, so something got out, very obviously. Hi, the secret, the door code to elevator control room is 5288. Uh, I only want to remind uh, that uh, Mr. Cor uh, Cogwell, who found it so funny to turn off the elevator with five men inside, isn't with us anymore. Bye, Eric. Okay. Wait, what? Uh, yeah, I'm presuming <laughs> someone got fired. We're fucking around with that. Okay. Five, two, uh, no. Uh, no. Uh, important information like key codes are listed on your objectives list. Uh, where, how do we access the objectives list? I, yep. I think if you're on the ground so long, small pranks and yokes are fine, but trapping people in an elevator as a yoke? Yeah, no. That, that, that's too far, especially when elevators in this area is um, extremely important. Yep. Okay, here we go. Oops, steam. Okay, we can't get past that. Can they? No, they can't, either. <laughs> they definitely can't. Okay. Doesn't mean they can try. Again? Try. Doesn't mean they be succeed. Yep. <laughs> That's what's obvious is all. Okay. Oop. Load. Wait, if that steep... Ew. Bar. Uh, oh dear. Mm. Hopefully, no one plans to eat that. But I don't think that counts as eating like steamed clam. Steam Is that a thing? Steam clam? Probably. Okay, back up. Hmm. Okay, nothing gets spawned up there. Okay. Okay. There. 
And to avoid stupidity in the future, we're just closing that off. Gotta keep an eye out for those tentacle things. Okay. Bunch of medical stuff. And we can turn the elevators back on. Good. The elevators are working. Now, go find area D219. To our knowledge, there should be a data disk containing very important information somewhere. We need you to find it. And that's the area they specifically wanted to seal off. Okay. Oh no. Crane room. Yeah. Shaft three. Just in case. Okay. And the crane room is closed. Okay. So is the is D219 up here or further down? Okay, I'm guessing further down then. Let's take a look. Hmm. Oh yeah, we're back in area in the place we've already been. Okay. Going down. The Goblin Town. Okay, where exactly is our objective screen and such. Let's see, beacon tracker. Okay, pause. L, K, J, U, Y. Um, okay, Y hides the map. You didn't notice that hill? Yeah, I noticed the tremor there. There's something unsettling about these. It's like the, the fly version of cherubs. Here we go. We got plenty of ammo for the moment. And this place is locked. Okay. Um, anything up top? Okay, there is, but it's closed. So, I guess we'll have to open this up then. Let's get a little bit closer. And there. Oh, okay. Ste they can't... Those things can't... Yeah, the grappling hooks can't embed in steel. Okay. There we go. Easy. There is a word for doing that along the walls, but I forget. Okay, warning contamination. We found it. We don't know why D219 has been cut off. We only know that it was 25 years ago. You need to dig through the wall with the tunnel boring machine. I'm sending two engineers, Paxton and Hicks, down to you. They will do the digging. They should arrive soon. Wait, 25 years ago? Engineers have just arrived by shaft two. They are under your command now. Okay. Let's see. Left shift and one to three to choose man to command. Alternative, you can use one to three. Okay. On the numpad. There we go. Okay. Head to crane room where all the heavy machinery is located. Yeah, it's already here. Using the nearby terminal. Our programmer took off all access restrictions. Okay. A nearby. Okay, must be. Yeah, the terminal over there. Okay. I get the feeling that the people that the, the developers weren't fully versed in English. There's minor little things here and there. Let's see. Yeah. Do I think I think we have seen worse. Yeah. Okay. Then let's see. E. Okay. Uh, start and stop. Toggle orders. Okay. 
seems that we can't turn this thing around, but I'm going to guess that we need to get in here. Oop. Uh, let's get out of that thing quickly. Okay, we do have a pistol. For a moment I thought we were unarmed. Oop. Okay, I did not expect a bunch of those things to just come flying out. Okay, oh, whoa. Okay, we have a limited amount of crew, apparently. Oh. Okay. Let's see, the transport platform behind the pit can carry machines. Use a crane to lift and move the platform. Only engineers can operate machines. Okay. Let's see then. Let's, uh, open claw. Okay. Close claw. Okay. Now we got a lift up in it. Now we can swap to you. Open up the pit. Get in here. And then number two gets to move this thing around. Apparently this digger has a limited amount of battery. We'll need to keep an oh. eye on that. The, the, remember, there's a driver in this. Yeah. So don't make him uh, lose his dinner. Okay. Just a little bit more. Okay. Uh, Okay, it was automatically going down there. Just lower you down further. Number three, move forward a little bit. Okay, uh, you get behind for a moment. <laughs> okay. And then number three. Okay. Automatically moving forward here. This is very likely a very bad idea. Okay. Uh, number one. Come along. Number two is stuck upstairs for now. Oh, and there's the timer. Uh, let's go a little bit deeper. This is we find a shotgun. Okay, uh, actually, number two. Do you have a grappling gun of sorts? Uh, no, you only have a pistol. Beyond that, you have nothing. So just hide in there for a moment. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Uh, can we swap weapons? Yep, pump action shotgun. Uh, do we need to... Yes, we need to select it. Anything on the ceiling that we can see? There's a light. There's another light. Okay, no tentacles. Hopefully. Okay. Lab 4, storage 1, let's see, let's try and finish up this mission and then we'll move on to the next game, okay nothing here, can we, maybe, maybe something to happen. <laughs> Nope, oh, there's, there's a hollow space underneath here. Okay. Don't think that's wide enough for us to crawl through. Hmm. Oh, wait. I think it's uh, meaning this part. Okay, no power. 
Uh, number three, quickly. Can you rush over here and maybe activate... Uh, actually, no, you're stuck up here. Hmm. Okay, so number one, Murphy is the only one who can proceed at the moment. And they, there wasn't anything to, for us to activate that thing on the right. Which I'm guessing was likely a... Get up there. There we go. A generator of sorts. Okay. A checkpoint, right? Go. Likely wasting some ammo with this. Okay, uh... Let's see, you use scan ball to electrocute small enemies. Okay. However, it consumes more energy. And we need a crank to open that. Okay. Uh, scan ball. Here we go. That is mapping this out. Test chamber. Okay. Nope. Can fit under there. It has a tentacle. Okay. Uh, just a few more minutes. But I have to say, I am curious. Especially now that I know we have more than nope. Murphy. There's... Okay, radiation. Wait, there's a... Why is that tree down here? Yeah. Why is it radioactive? Okay, keeping an eye out. Wait. Is there uranium around here? Could be that they've been that they, this was originally an uranium mine, yeah. That or they accidentally found <laughs> one. <laughs> okay, they can get you real quick. So that's why there's an achievement for getting that thing quickly. It Yep, little oh, bastards. Okay. Uh, uh, that thing. Now, remember, watch out for the kisser. Yeah, we're going to shoot it right in its kisser. Okay. okay, it's dead. Once it goes limp, it is dead. Hope these things aren't smart enough to figure out that they can fake their death. Uh, let's see, we've got some containers here, T1 to 3. Uh, and also, no, just a It was dripping blood. Yeah. Before you shot it already, so... He was still munching on your friend, the other Murphy. Gosh, empty. Uh, yeah, this isn't so much a respawn as someone else getting sent in. Yeah, we have six crew left, and Murphy is quite hurt still from all of that. Okay, let, let's go see what's behind that door, uh, that other door, and then we'll call it. Oop. Quickly. Uh, well, so much for Murphy the seventh. Okay, apparently there are scouts. And wait, they have two medkits? How do we use medkits then? Either way, oop, more. The more of these things spawn when we die. Or did they just were they just off screen earlier? Hmm. Maybe. Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. very curious about this game. Yeah, the first time I saw this, I was alright. 
but no, after seeing him getting furry in and seeing him have more than one character control and all that, I got a bit more curious. Oh, hello. It ambush. Okay, we got to. Oh, hello. Okay, now we've got zombies as well. Oh. Or something like zombies. Okay, I'm definitely going to be looking up a bit more about this game. Are two same things laying eggs in corpses and they turn into that? Yeah, possibly. Shut up the lights. Okay. So yeah, this is a this game is basically a a two D survival horror. Oh, yeah. Disc. Okay. Yeah, there is definitely something going on here, especially if this place was sealed off 25 years ago. It means that these things have had two decades to breed and evolve. Well, it's some uh, sections of it were, for they say they had lost contact with you for two years ago. Yeah, and but guess... this is an older part. Oh yeah, okay, I meant that like that. Hmm. But yeah, let's leave it here before this becomes a, <laughs> a hidden deep playthrough. Well, yeah, definitely curious at the absolute least. Yeah. Okay, moving on to the second game then, which I don't think will last very long. We'll probably give this one a few, like, ten minutes or so. From what I've, little I've seen of it, uh, yeah, this is Hive Swap Friend Sim, which I believe is somehow linked to Homestuck or something. What? Uh, yeah, I, I saw. Hmm, I think this. No, this is not from uh, GOG. GOG games tend to have a circle around them in their desktop uh, shortcuts. Uh, no, this is one from Steam. Hmm. But. Uh, Let's go give this a try. Let's see. Friend select volume one of Bloodthirst and Bradwurst. Okay, yeah, the, the, I believe these are, uh, if not uh, Homestuck characters, they're Homestuck styled, I think. And this is giving me very uh, dating sim feels with the side stuff, or at least visual novel style. Uh, additional content will be released on a regular basis. Okay. Yeah, I, I should say this. I know basically almost nothing about Homestuck. I don't know that so many main characters are trolls, but that's it. We're now com completely alone in a strange world, desperate for information, for provisions, and possibly a bit of medical attention. But most of all, you are desperate for friendship. <laughs> okay, this game is not going to take itself seriously. Won't someone on this godforsaken rock be your buddy? <laughs> Any weirdo will do. You're not that picky. <laughs> Hang on, what's this now? Someone approaching? Okay. Ardata, Carmia, and Dima, Dima, Diamen, Sikala, Sikali. Uh, let's click you. Uh, yes, someone is approaching. A strange gray skinned alien clad in blue. Perhaps they will make for a good friend? <laughs> Dear God. Just what you are, you know, just what are you supposed to be? Your stammering reply eventually conveys that you are a lost traveler who is hungry and probably in need in some need of medical treatment. You're also really lonely and wouldn't mind making a new friend right about now. Oh, oh my. <laughs> hmm. Uh. Okay. <laughs> Let's go back in the ship and. <laughs> How funny this is! How very droll! You. You want to be my friend? 
It's too much. This this thing at my doorstep, wishing to know me in any capacity. Hilarity somehow escapes my ability to capture with maniacal laughter. A rare. You apologize for your presumptuous request. You hang your head, turn around, and begin to walk out. Just what the fuck do you think you're doing? Who invited you to leave? You stop in your tracks obediently and turn to face her again. Your possibly broken ribs are throbbing in pain, but this does not strike you as the right moment to exhibit weakness. It dawns on me that we may have gotten off on the wrong saunter pod. What? Where are my manners? Ghastly behavior on my part. After all, it isn't your fault that you seem to uh, be some sort of hideous freak, isn't it? And such a tragic creature might, it cannot be held responsible for such a devastating shortfall of social competence. I'm not going to hold the eyes to too many. I will weep for you, really, except that crying is out, uh, crying out of three eyes at once get a bit messy. So instead, I think I'll be saving my tears for someone less offensively worthless. Okay. Why? I just realized there's a yoke in, uh, in the way she speaks. No. How many eyes does she have? Yeah, three. And how many eyes does she use in her uh, speech? Nope. <laughs> okay, I see it now. Yeah, okay. I was wondering, okay, you see? Really drags out so worse that I realized, wait, there's a pattern here. Only three eyes in each word with I, and then it dawned on me. Okay, you aren't sure if she's inviting you inside, or if she just got you to stay a little longer so she could insult you some more. You try to remain stoic while your confrontational new friend decides what to do with you. Fortunately, you sniffle slightly. Oh. Oh my, oh dear, you're... sad? Hmm? So amusing to me. Probably <laughs> endearing even. See? Perhaps on the side later, oh, if God. it's endearing, once I have some, <laughs> have more information, it's entirely possible I will like, practically decide it's disgusting. See, I told you! <laughs> but for now, try to put yourself at ease, you completely pitiful fool, not <laughs> one more sniffle. You understand? You nod while practicing exemplary control over your nose. You've gotten yourself so agitated. I wonder why. You have nothing to worry about for me. Of course I will be your friend. Conditionally, I mean. There is a chance the designation will be formalized if you behave in ways that I approve of, starting now. Let's call it a friendship in progress, agreed? Your heart swells. This is what you've been waiting for. A new friend. Oh gosh. All you have to do now is try not to fuck, around, fuck anything up at all, possibly for many hours. What the heck was that? Let's see. Come into my hive. This way. After me. You look like you could use nourishment. Okay. But were you almost misreading a sentence there horribly? Yeah. Oh dear. I don't know what it is uh, that whatever you are eats, generally, but it doesn't matter. You will eat whatever it is I have on hand if I tell you to. How does that sound? Uh, how does it sound? Okay. Uh, get the. Uh... <laughs> okay. So. Okay, it's sort of a sort of dating sim, but instead it's, it's a yeah, it's a friend sim. Wiggle, wiggle. Okay. Oh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> this probably could get pretty funny, but I get the feeling I, I would just end up killing my throat having to read all of that because well, visual novels and dating sims just have so much freaking text. So it's kind of point. Yeah, let's leave it at that with this one and move on to the next game I have prepped. Okay. Uh, windowed. Yeah, this one starts with a launcher up front. Where to set all the settings and such. 
Okay, let's move this up. Okay. And it should catch any... There we go. Let's see. It, it doesn't actually say it here, but this game is called Hob. So, let's get to a new game. And... Oop. Start the timer. Uh, hello. Okay, so this is basically Bastion if he were bipedal. Wait, was this a cell of sorts? Uh, bye, I guess? Okay. Bastion if you were bipedal. I'm pretty sure the kids who played in, in Bastion had two legs. Yeah, the Bastion, the Overwatch character. Let's see. Standard Ooh. controls. We can... Oh, I can also steer with the mouse, apparently. Yeah. Hmm. Wait, you mean that robot thing? Yep. I had no idea that wasn't a character. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's go chase after the robots. And yeah, this must be our main care our titular character, Hob. Let's see, is it circuitry of sorts? Okay, you want us to get into that? Or is it a golem? Or was he pointing out that that's some sort of activating system for these? Okay. Nice shiny eyes. Hmm. Oh, Why, thank that, you. That does not look like it belongs. That okay. looks concerning. Hmm. Get the flamethrower. It Okay, almost took our head off there. Okay. Hmm, what should we call this guy for now? Uh, Bastion, like Ian. Bastion and Golem? Or... Ian. What? It's a good name, Stadium. It probably is a Swedish word I don't know. Uh, it means stone. <laughs> Actually, uh, it means stone and rock. So, <laughs> the Swedish dwarves, uh, DRG dwarves would say steer and steer. Steen and steen, as a steen ox steen, not steen. Okay, you said it, it, you music. really butchered it. Yeah, the, the Dutch way that you say it is stain. Stein. Stain. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it kind of like that. Just you, you remove the I. It's spelled S T E N. Four letters. Okay, and we're supposed to follow, I'm guessing. Let's see. There's two walls that, that look like they can be punched out. And can we push this around? No, we we can climb up it. Okay, well, I'm liking remember. the minimalism so far. Well, even though I have complained about these things before. This game is interesting so far. For, I am curious what happened here. Yeah, and what is with this world? However, I do hope there's some dialogue. Let's see. Can't activate that by standing on it. Like, sure, we are cool, uh, cool mutators and all that, but there, there, there's a part where we if they give us a bit too much uh, room to commentate. Yeah, or speculate like we did with transistor. And apparent. Oh, hello.
Yeah, with transistor, it's just a, it's the common thing that is just where it is. Go up. Uh, okay. Uh, ow. Ooh. Uh, ow. But yeah, with transistor, there is just very much that isn't explained at all. Yeah. Uh, wait, did we finish the. Oh, never mind. Well, he finished off that arm. And finish what, you mean? Finished. I don't think the game is that short. I, but I it is when not. it crashes. <laughs> okay. Oh. Okay, that's that, a... That's a point against. Okay. Start up again. Hopefully... Yeah, there was a checkpoint earlier. And, okay, it's even changed. Okay, yeah, very minimalist. Just... Yep. Okay. Is that supposed to be some sort of cloning thing, or... A stasis pods. Either way, we'll have to do a little bit again. But I hope that doesn't become a common thing. Because I, there wasn't really anything going on there to cause it to crash. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, uh, wrong way. Go take a look at the alien giraffe again. And... Giraffe. No Moose. skips. Platypus? Yes, sort of. The antlers could be seen as a bit of a like a gazelle thing. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, the moment that thing shows up in on screen, it starts to attack. Yeah. Wait. I mean, I've seen a little bit of this game before. Okay. I just forgot who played it, though. Maybe Yak? Hmm. I don't think I've watched Jack Septicai for quite a while. <clears throat> Same. I do and look him th over now and then. I think he's slowed down his uploading stuff a lot as well. Yep. Yeah, probably most the dude who has been busy with the tours and his company with coffee, but also to avoid burnouts as he had did in the past. Yeah. <laughs> for, <clears throat> it did become a problem for him. So, so he may have time to learn to calm down. How is this game pulling 99% of my GPU? Oh, uh, that's there not we good. Go. Uh, yeah, I, I think it's one of those cases again where it just draws as much as it can. This is not a good thing. It should. It should only pull what it needs. Yeah. Not as much as possible. Uh, well, that's uh, <clears throat> handy. And heavy. Go on. Are right, you not gonna do the joke? Wonderful. It's it, it just difficulty. It said something about that. Let's see then. Now that we have this thing, uh, interact. Okay, E button. Okay, now we have the strength to push this. Make a shortcut for ourselves. Okay. Uh, where's the golem? Hmm. Ooh! Um. I think I'm gonna take a look what you got bitten. What happened to your arm? Yeah. Wait. Does that mean the earlier spot we saw that type of stuff was. 
possibly something, something leaving. Yeah, we're part of something leaving. Let's see. Checkpoint here. Hmm. Ah, there you are. Oh, mine is one arm. And what is this? Sword, obviously, but uh, is that a mummified quirks? Uh, okay, never mind on the mummified part. Well, if you were right, it was a mummified one. Just. Yeah, so mummified was a try to just. Yeah. Powerized. And it's discussed with to this day that for some reason people fought in the hundreds was healthy to eat honeyed mummies. Okay. So we got three pieces of a sword. Okay, and I'm guessing we're going to forge something then. Likely a sword. Let's see. Okay, sword combo, add a third more powerful combat attack, sword thrust, agility, improved combat, you know, rolling dodge, mechanical shield. Okay, but we need orbs for that, which we don't have. And what is this? Oh, it's a... Okay, it's a checkpoint or healing station. Oh, no, it's a close station. Okay. Uh, wait, you know what a hob is, right? Uh, I have heard the word before, but I don't think I've ever heard it with its meaning. Uh, it's basically... I think you can say that they're in the same family as gnomes. Okay. And also the term where hobgoblin came from. This was, at least back in the day, supposed to be when a hob and a goblin mate, and you got a hobgoblin. Okay, not entirely the, sh the shape that's uh, oh, retractable. Nice. Okay, so the filling thing is a bit oversized, and. Okay. It's your chance for. It's your first something. Let's see, we have what I presume to be our health bar that popped up in the upper left. Three hit points, I presume. Uh, how do we attack? Nope. There goes Archimedes. Archimedes. Which is what the, the, oh, come the, on. the friend bird from Bastion, the Overwatch character, is named. Let's see, can we... No, oh, we can't punch that down. I thought you make, were making a Team Fortress joke. Oh. Uh, no, Ar I, Archimedes was the, the me is the medic's bird, and what was what was the Overwatch bird called again then? Also Archimedes? I don't think so. That's a that's a bird in Overwatch. Yeah, it, it, it's it's best. It's the robot's pal. Yeah, okay, I will say this. Uh, have you seen the pieces of that robot? But I don't know he had a bird, and it's probably one of the oldest characters I see the least about. I actually thought it was just a mob. <laughs> yeah, Overwatch still doesn't have any PvE stuff, or at least permanent PvE stuff. Okay, that's how we get those orbs. Uh. Next time we watch something, then I want to show you one of the cinematic trailers for Overwatch. Because as much Too as late. a bunch of bastards Blazers are, they are still Too very late. good with making those. Hmm? Too late. I've seen those already. Okay, but have you seen the Bastion one? Probably not, because that one... I, I suspect that one is the not a fan favorite but, but among people. Mm, you could say it is very I... much a favorite. Okay, I am surprised as I never hear anyone speak about them. I only uh, heard about the all other ones that uh, people love making fan arts of. Let's see, we have a... 
Okay, is that supposed to mean that there's something nearby for that? Uh, can we... We can't cut that. Our sword isn't but yeah, strong I still enough. You the cinematics thanks to a friend who spammed me a lot about the videos to the point that, yes, I saw many of them, but they also end up... Uh, Yeah, make me less interested. Hold on, what's the A bit of a... Overhyping. Yeah. <laughs> animal instinct at any animal. <laughs> okay, that's cute. Oh. Yeah, I, I kind of like this interesting take on hops if they're supposed to yep. be in... Sp I don't oh, think they're supposed yeah. to be splattered like that. Oh boy. Uh, right. I think they take a bit more more than no mistake on the hob here. Do they are basically related. They are basically house spirits. But they are house spirits that respect the order in a farmstead and house, but also nature. Like they can get rather pissy if you disrespect, disrespect against nature or a farm animal. Let's see. So you okay. see them do, like they are advanced, like they have a ma magical technology and advanced stonework and all that. But they still, as you see, even even with these ruins, you can still see even even probably before ruins, they had still uh, respect for nature. Yeah. Now where are we actually supposed to go with this? We've got a sword that we can cut stuff down with. Uh, I didn't see anything that we could progress through on the other side. And this place is heavily infested with this stuff. We can't cut down these. Uh, we can go down here. To the broken tree. Hmm. Let's see, I'm guessing this game is a bit like uh, Bez then, let, letting you explore and puzzle things out on your own. Yeah, but... Transistor, we at least got to store all that. It's allowed us to free us a bit easier. Yep. Here... It'd be actually harder. There's some sort of infestation going on. That probably needs to be cleared out. Uh, let's see. Hmm. That's a bit of an odd shape for a tree. Hmm. <coughs> let's see. Uh, don't think we can go this way. Yeah. We need some way to stomp that out. There's even more of it over there. That looks like it could get active. Hmm. Let's see. Where are we supposed to go? And now that little side thing is gone there. So does that mean that in that area where it did appear that there's supposed to be something for us to find there? Was around mm. here is I think. I feel like I wanna say yes to this game, but this one gives you feel like kind of needs some dialogue. Okay, we'll need to research a bit. Oh, there's an opening there. For a moment, I thought we jumped through a wall. Yeah, like, if this one gives me can finish in two streams, then maybe, or three. Yeah. But four and five, without any dialogue, I'd be unsure. Like, it has made me curious. Just, again... I feel like we end up using a bit way too many... Like, Again, Transistor oh. gives enough to have easier time to make theories. Here, where do we even start? 
Okay, we can climb down and up these. Uh, hello? Okay, just enjoyed the scenery for a bit. It, what was that? Okay. Uh, where was your future alarm clock? Can we... Yes, we can. Okay, this game is going to have a lot of can we moments. I will have to test things out. Oh, a little gleam on this. Let's see, then we can move that here. Get up, get up, and get across. Okay. Hmm. Here, then just up. Okay. Hmm, there's something odd about this tree with those grooves. Okay, save point. And I very much doubt those things are going to be friendly. Yep. As I strike first oh. before they even get a chance. <laughs> hmm. The absolute least I am getting curious about this. Yeah. And I very much doubt that we can jump that. Oh, hello. No, you you don't even have any eyes. Uh app. Or they are so tiny you can't see them. Okay. Uh, okay, let them taunt us for a bit. Okay, there is supposed to be a dodge roll. We can sprint. Uh, uh, just gonna grab something. Hmm. Okay, let's try this again. Okay. Uh, I'm over here. Okay, just... there we go. Nice ice cream. <laughs> just as I beat this thing. Yeah, yeah like hit and me. run tactics work there. Just run circles around it and stab. Hold on, you're beating her up for a sneaker? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, what's in here? Let's see. Can... Can't climb up there. Okay, nice that the game lets us catch ourselves. That Hob can catch himself. Ooh. I'm presuming that his name is actually Hob. Oh. Yep. Unless I screw it up like that, of course. <laughs> okay. Either that's his name or the name of his species. Okay. There. And there. Let's see, is this place going to reveal anything about whatever the hell is going on? Hmm. Hopefully he's not a red cap. Yeah, he has a, a red hood. Yeah, it, it, for clarification, red cap, I forgot, they have an alternative name, I forgot, I keep forgetting. It's basically a... Goblin, who has a pike staff, I think it's called. Basically, a staff with a blade on it. And, um, Iron Boots, that they have a habit of killing people and drenching their caps in the blood. And if the yeah. blood dries up in the cap, they die. Okay. okay. Another component. I think Hob is glad that he doesn't have any feeling in that thing. Okay. 
Okay. Oh no. First. Add punch ability to glove. I think it counts as a bit oh. more than a glove. I thought it was a gun. Let's see. Oh, they punch. installed guns on it. Oh, R is punch. There we go. <laughs> okay, I thought he smashed it, but no, he just punted it all the way across. Holy. Okay. Uh, we have hit the 25 minutes, though, but at least let's climb out of here. Let's see. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely curious at the, well, very least. And the gameplay is pretty nice so far. A bit, uh, you know, it doesn't hold your hand, uh, but it does, uh, okay. Okay, that needs to, that blue bar needs to be full for that. Okay, a jump and punch. Okay, that makes ladders. Huh. Yeah, now we are getting more interesting with this, huh? Yeah. Enough that I might yep. forgive it like in dialogue. Uh, I, uh, I looked away and. I think we got squished some between something there. Yeah, I noticed as well. I okay. for some reason looked at your your uh, avatar face and while talking. So I missed just what happened. Uh, I just looked over <laughs> there so you missed and go away. Where's the character? Okay, well let's leave it at that uh, mystery then. And uh move on to the next game. Okay. Bit, a bit of a slower start, but I'm definitely willing to give that more of a try. Yeah. Wait. Moving on to game number three, and we'll have time for at least another one after that. Okay, this is a GOG one, so it starts that up. Okay. I have this choice between game one and two, and wait, I thought I had this... I thought I had this set up already to be windowed because what I'm guessing at is that you're just that you're just getting a white screen now nope okay typically when the games go full screen they screw up with uh, this with the screen share so you can see uh, the game I can see I can see the game homeworld okay, remastered that's... kill the edition okay huh yeah typically when they go full screen they mess with discord screen share and OBS maybe they patch something in the fix that Huh. Oh well, then we get a rare full screen then. Uh, yeah, this is Homeworld Remastered. And people who know Homeworld probably don't need much of an introduction for that. Because it is seen as a gem of a game. But not ma one that has been played by too many, I believe. I have a friend who played uh, one of them. I've seen some of it. Uh, game play of it. Yeah, to my knowledge, there are about three, maybe four games in the franchise at the moment. Or was that something else that I'm thinking of? Yeah, at, at least yeah, three, that... I think. Yeah, then some spin-offs, possibly? Yeah, there's Homeworld 1, there's Homeworld 2, and there's a game that takes place on the planet's surface. Oh yeah, let's go... Let, yeah, let's go start up the tutorials. Let's see, Introduction to Homeworld Remastered. The tutorial covers camera control, unit selection and movement. Okay, start and start the timer. Welcome to the Homeworld Training Mission. This tutorial will cover the user interface, camera control, unit selection, and movement. Our first priority is the taskbar. The taskbar provides you with a variety of information about what you currently have selected and provides you easy access to basic commands. Click OK to continue. You can minimize the taskbar by clicking on the flashing icon or pressing backspace. Do this now. Flashing icon? I, I don't see a flashing icon. Where's the camera blocking it, maybe? Uh, to bring the taskbar back, keep pressing backspace. Do this now. Good uh, job. <laughs> Everything the recall it window meant. displays all previous speech in the mission. Click on the recall icon to display all previous speech in the mission. To exit the recall window, click Close. Throughout the game, objectives will be assigned to you. Objectives mm. give you information on what you must accomplish in each mission. Click OK to continue. Okay, I, I 
I thought that the tutorial of this game was part of the story as well, but apparently I got that wrong. You have just been yeah. issued a new objective. To access the objective screen, click on the flashing icon. Do this now. Uh, Good I job. forgot it was like this. this. I, I remember the other part, screen. part of it where you actually drive the ships. And I think I was called, so give me a second. All right. Stream down. back uh, basically got called down to be told uh, you'll be helping make dinner tonight why they just couldn't have said that in the first place uh, okay uh yeah let's just start right here then you still here i'm still here okay uh forgot to stop the timer but this shouldn't take too long and i might get called away again 100 years ago, a satellite detected an object under the sands of the Great Desert. An expedition was sent. An ancient starship buried in the sand. Inside the ruin was a single stone that would change the course of our history forever. On the stone was etched a galactic map and a single word more ancient than the clans themselves. Higara, our home. I might have forgotten to do some of the pre uh, the prep with this game it seems pretty sure it does have subtitles the clans were united and a massive colony ship was designed 
construction would take 60 years. It would demand new technologies, new industries, and new sacrifices. The greatest of these was made by the scientist Karen Sajet, who had herself permanently integrated into the colony ship as its living core. She is now Fleet Command. The promise of the Guide Stone united the entire population. Every mind became focused on the true origin of our people. Every effort on the construction of this ship that would seek it out among the stars. Scaffold control standing by. All stations green. You're cleared to approach. You got it. Base 8, 9, and 10 sealed. Scaffold decks A, B, C secure. Decks D and E secure. Scaffold secure. All systems green. Release crew standing by. What a beautiful sight. This is Fleet Command. Reporting mothership relaunch status. Command online. Resourcing online. Construction online. Cryogenic subsections A through J online. K through S online. Scaffold control, stand by for alignment. Alignment confirmed. Stand by, release control. The mothership has cleared the scaffold. We are away. Stand by for command line testing. Command line green. Initial fleet in position. Okay. Star Trek to motion picture flashbacks much? Fleet intelligence oh, going boy. online. Our task is to analyze all Thanks. sensor data and generate mission objectives. Before the hyperdrive test, several trials must be completed. No. Where? There. Why is there another gameplay? There we go. Copy. Test construction yes. by building the primary research ship. Test resource processing by harvesting the asteroids provided nearby. Hyperspace module charging. 35% capacity and rising. The mothership will be ready for the hyperdrive test in 10 minutes. Let's see, construct a research ship, uh, scout. Oh. Uh, yeah, Stand by yep. to begin combat trials. First, we will be monitoring formation performance. Target drones have been provided here. Assign a formation to your fighters and destroy the drones. Okay. Uh, oh, what's from the game? 
Nee. Okay. Wofür für Roger. Group 1 designated. Wofür für mein Helfer so tell me in the resort schicken? Okay. Uh, let's see how are those the target drones? Uh, okay, so should have probably put a bit more in the tutorial to see how to move around and such. Uh, what are those? Cryo trays, okay. You are resource collectors. Acknowledged. So let's collect you resource both and get you to put net. Let's see. 250 ROUs, total 1500. Okay, resource units. Acknowledged. You Collection to work on the other one there. Group one uh, How do I get into that? Oh, uh, Underway. Okay, M is move. I can just get them to move Group like that as confirmed. well, with right click. Oh, there's the drones. Okay, lady. we <laughs> they weren't inside, of course. Okay. Attack vector laid in. Target confirmed. Engage. All route. All route. Okay, yeah, this is taking place in a fully 3D level, I believe. Yeah, something I think they did already back then in the day. This was kind of what they made it kind of famous. Yeah. But not many games could do that. Uh, two more. There probably is a way to just get them to attack all, but that'll do for now. Okay. Uh, build. Up. Oh. Hello. Formation trial complete. Flight analysis shows a 22% increase in combat performance. The next trial will test the effectiveness of tactics. Stand by to begin tactics trial. Use aggressive or evasive tactics and engage the target drones here. Okay. Uh, where do I select that? Probably out there, yeah, flashing. Group okay, one offensive. Enemy contact. Pursuing targets. Lock all weapons on target. Okay, I think something just fell off. Uh, something next to me. Local resources exhausted. Fleet moving on. Target confirmed. Okay, uh, builds. Okay, these are different <coughs> things. Uh, 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 okay, uh, let's minimize the game for some reason for a sec. Oh, that's uh, it's because the task manager isn't shown before it, but physically is. So I was accidentally clicking on that. Assembly okay, underway. build one research ship. Okay, uh, what I will say about this game is that by all accounts from what I've personally heard and everything, it is considered a really good game, but also a tough game. Yeah. Understood. It's probably why not many played it for... Like, so many people did try a friend's game. Tactics trial and bore it all that and realized, the next yeah, trial will this test is the way too tough. Of the salvage corvette. Build one and capture the target drone here. Group one okay. under attack. Yeah, yeah capturing target. is going to be a big thing in this game. Uh, that's a pro. Target oh, salvage so corvette. The replacement drone is being sent to the same location. Completion I of this doubt we, be, we would stream this. Of the drone. Yeah. Begin again. For but this no, is, this is hard. Has yeah, been this is in part just to showcase games like online. this as well. Begin fighter yeah. chassis research immediately. Um, but right, the game is also very long. For acquisition and transfer. Okay, that's the research Reporting. ship. Yes, it is. Uh, Salvage Corvette complete. Acknowledged. How do we get you to start researching? Uh, click here. And it says you to do that. Okay. Where is fighter drive? And you are the salvage corvette. Okay, head on over here. And you should find that probe to go capture it. Uh, yeah. Resources are going to be limited in this game. So you will want to... Yeah, minimize your own losses as much as possible and get as many resources as you can because you can you can just starve yourself out towards the later end of the game yeah which i think is one of the reasons why it's so hard okay, and you just picked it up and bringing it back to be salvaged research complete okay 
Capture the drone. Okay. And yeah, I believe that uh, I believe that land-based RTS uh, spin-off. I believe that is basically a prequel to all of this. Okay, those are still collecting from the <clears throat> from the Stand asteroids. For a hyperdrive test, internal pressure doors will be sealed in two minutes. Abort system standing by. Docking. Hyperspace module fully charged. I am ready to initiate quantum wave generation on your mark. Good okay. luck, everyone. Docking. All sections have reported in. We are clear to proceed. Trigger the hyperspace drive at your discretion. Uh, yeah, you'll Roger. also want to have all of your ships dock. Copy. Group one standing Before you by. go Docking somewhere, I, or, are they not allowed to come along? Because if you hyper, if you jump whilst uh, there are still ships outside of the mothership, uh, yeah, they are going to be left behind. Reporting. Get Docking the hell. The okay, apparently they're not allowed right. to in. Or are they going to all come in now? Looks like it. Uh, quick dock. There we go. Okay, that is a nice little option. And that's the ship gone. Uh what? Okay. <clears throat> we need to investigate whatever the hell All fell over there. Hyperspace systems operating at full power. If the hyperspace targeting system is accurate, we will emerge in close proximity to the support vessel Car Salim. This ship has spent the past ten years traveling on conventional drives to reach the outer Karak system. The Car Salim will monitor the quantum waveform as we return to normal space and assist in tuning our drive control systems. If the hyperspace module malfunctions, the Car Salim will provide assistance and resupply. Mission Smart. objectives will be to dock with the support vessel in order to complete adjustments to the mothership and her drives. New research um. available. We made it. Hyperspace jump complete. All systems nominal, and the quantum wave effect has dissipated. We have missed jumped. The support ship is not here. Fleet command will signal the Car Salim while we confirm our current position. This is the mothership calling support vessel Car Salim. Come in, please. We have missed jumped and are requesting your beacon. This is the mothership calling support vessel Car Salim. Please respond. Something's wrong here. Priority alert. We have picked up the Car Salim's automated beacon. Send a probe to make contact and re-establish communications. Okay. Over that way, so mothership. let's quickly make a probe. Assembly Very underway. cheap. Detects enemy ships and resources for mining. Basically just, well, it's a scout. <laughs> it's a basically a throwaway scout. Yep. Let's see. And Let's start on the, research. So the one who thinks the mothership looks like a banana. <laughs> a very straight banana then. There's the probe. Okay, you have head on probe over there. Dispatched. Okay, it's speedy as well. Oh, there's something there. Resource collector awaiting orders. Okay, it's just asteroids that. Let's see. Probe in position. Uh, are you not moving anymore? Uh, oh, it's because I'm in here or something? Let's see. Why are you not removed? Okay, do they just deploy and stay in a place then? Research complete. New research Looks like available. It. Why, why do I have a move option then? Let's see. Scuttle. Stop. Uh, okay. Mothership. Let's make another one then, underway. quickly. There is a certain point in this game that I do want to hit here. In the little time that we have. Let's see, is there a way that we can 
see that map so we know Code how complete. to let's see there's the probe um yeah this is one of the things with games like this they can be really complicated with all of the keys probe away yeah and navigate since yeah you have more directions you can go to now yeah it seems that probes just are fire and forget like we can't even change its course Hey. Okay. Is that close enough to wherever we need to, to hit? Oh, yes. Um. That explains uh, why they didn't respond. That definitely explains why they didn't respond. <laughs> That's a bunch. And they're heading straight for us because, well, it's a bit hard to miss this thing. They're attacking. The mothership is under attack. Engage incoming units. The mothership must be defended. Okay, let's hope that our little fleet here is enough to chase away these. Yes, in the meantime, we probably should... Uh, let's not salvage, not repair. Interceptor. Group 1, report victory. Assembly underway. Group 1, copy. Uh, group 1, Weapon go aggressive. Power. Interceptor complete. Pursuing targets. And just fight. Interceptor complete. Assembly underway. Berths are clear. Berths are clear. Interceptor okay. complete. Roger. Show no mercy. Keep fighting. Oh, they're attacking the research ship. Interceptor complete. Copy. Ready. Standing by. Moving you destination. get away Stop. from there. Interceptor complete. Destination. They're Locked very in. slow. Group one copies. Group one, Attack take care ready. of the interceptor, interceptor there. Complete. The missile corvettes. Okay, the other interceptors are picking fights as they come out. Complete. Construction underway. Construction underway. Resource operation reporting enemy contact. Acknowledged. Resource operation reporting enemy contact. Destination locked in. Group one standing by. Resource operation. Oh, the taking nice hot shots. Attack coordinates locked in. I got one. Yeah, just out of their own uh, solar system, and immediately they run into space pirates, huh? You two Collection confirmed. go harvest, you go hide. Order confirmed. You Copy. hide as well. Group one. Group one reporting. Group one is taking losses. Okay. And there's the stream timer for this. Or the timer for this. Uh, let's try and finish this fight. Roger. You are wing one combined now. Okay, let's try and focus down instead of just individual dog fights. Nope, oh, we lost one of ours. I th or was that one of ours? There goes a hostile. Target confirmed. Okay, we're winning this. Oh, they're chasing one of ours there. Uh, oh, oh, that's how we get in there. 
with the pause button. With another pause button with space bar. New heading set, our route. Group Just... one under attack. Yeah, this is very Take finicky. <laughs> like this. Stay on top of them. Uh, it looks like they're easier to target like this, because then we can't accidentally click behind them. Engaging. Yeah, Still a bunch of them, but we are getting through them. Oh, that one's still going. Okay. Seat yourself. Okay. Oh, that's going to be the end of... Yep. Um, how many are left? Group one has defeated the enemy. Hostile units destroyed. Threat eliminated. Mothership sustained minor hull damage. Repairs are underway. Group one standing by. Moving to destination. The car salim has been destroyed. Heavy weapon damage is visible on the remaining fragment. A salvage corvette must be sent to retrieve the mission data recorder. Let's see. Uh, the points that I'm talking about should be a little bit ahead, but I don't know how much longer... Uh, where's that salvage? Report. There's that salvage. Let's send that over. Um, do I do want to try one more game instead of just continuing on with this one? So, uh, can we speed things up, maybe? Let's... Research is not doing anything. Do we have any speed up buttons or something? It doesn't look like it. At least not yet. Toggle events. Okay, I'm guessing this is Global our capacity. Okay, that, that's the maximum of everything that we can have. <laughs> okay. Uh, those are at the works. Can the mothership move? Mothership. No. Or at least we have a move. The cursor shows a move option, but it's staying in place. Okay. Um, where's that sub? Okay, middle mouse focuses. Where is that salvage corvette? Probably better view like this. That's the probe. Interceptor where? complete. Where is that thing? Hmm. Okay. <coughs> Your choice then. Leave it here, or shall we? Uh, Priority we... alert. Additional hostile units detected on an intercept course with the car Salim. Protection of the salvage team is a primary objective. It must return to the mothership with the mission recorder. We need that data. Now there's our salvage corvettes. Confirmed. It's heading back already. Acknowledged. Okay. Hard. Bit hard to see. Okay. Uh, Group one standing by. Attack uh, in. Reporting. Okay, that's not going to survive. That's not going to survive. So, uh, yeah, we'll have to leave it on the cliffhanger then here, huh? Yeah. Uh, I w I always find it a little bit annoying that you have to hit F10 to get into a menu with some of these games. But yeah, Homeworld. Unlikely that we'll stream it, but it is still a very good game. Like, the, the biggest complaint I've heard about the remaster is that it changes up the uh, cinematics. Yeah. And if I recall correctly, Mandalore Gaming did a review of the game, of the series, maybe. And I think the one complaint, one big complaint was that the, uh, ci the remastered cinematics changed it to be a lot less striking. Well, Okay. Well, okay. Moving on to the fifth game and last game. <clears throat> and I think this should be a familiar name. Uh, uh. Don't starve. Squirt, better get moving before mom comes down. Race you upstairs. 
Uh, yeah, this game... This uh, game is called Hot Lava, and you may have heard of it. Because it's basically, well... The floor is lava, the game. I'm not sure if I have. But, but as a kid, yes. But not the video game. Uh, let's see, audio subtitles there. But yeah, I believe this is... Intense music begins, really. Uh, I don't fully recall if this is supposed to be a racer game of sorts. Oh, there we go, hot lava. Uh, yeah. This is basically just a fun little game. Uh, let's see. There's an effect... Okay, they're still active with events, apparently. Okay. Let's just start at... Beep boop bop. Video games will rot your brain, Squirt. Let's learn something new. Okay, how to double jump? Let's just jump again. Uh, let's see. Dim in detention as string in detention is true. <laughs> if in detention true, then... For I percentage, uh, one to five print, I will not jump on furniture. Uh, okay, there's someone trying to, someone trying to plot, yeah, have a script do their, uh, I will not uh, do such and such for 100 lines <laughs> work instead. Okay, this is looking like a hot bolt. Wait, did the uh, Captain Sauce have this in uh, free run of games or maybe multiplayer they had? I wouldn't be surprised if uh, Captain Sauce played this, but yeah, it's basically just a platform racer. With the gimmick being, well, that the floor is lava. Momentum, keep it by moving, ooh, and burn. Yeah, and also. Actually, creams to and he said that video games make your brain rot. Like, if anything, more studies have shown that video games is actually healthy for the brain. Yep. Okay, crouch and jump. Yep. Basic platform stuff. Swing on. Oop. Oop. There. I think I heard it. it heard it, 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 it has been proved a. People who play video games have forced the reflexes, but also better problem solving. Could be. Okay. And they are usually quicker to do it. And I don't mean like math, I mean more like uh, they say I'm uh, something that needs to fix, and they will try and quickly fix it. Uh, maybe uh, abstract problem solving. Yeah. Uh, damn it. Along with also, of course, uh, things like uh, tactics. Like, while strategy games would not probably not ever be the perfect way to learn tactics, it's definitely a good stepping stone in the right direction. Yeah. At least for the time they get idea. Then you just have to remember. Yeah, your shoulders are people. That's a yeah, global action team, new character available. Yeah. The natural. Yeah. <laughs> Moto bug belt. A participation trophy. A ribbon. I'm feeling, uh, all I can I actually nope. got the reference. Yeah. <clears throat> and apparently some people I know have also been playing this game. <clears throat> okay. And that opened up a new place. What is it? Okay, you're just going to roam around. Uh, you're actually going to lead. At jumping off point jump 100 times, really. Okay, let's give this level a try. Trampoline trouble. But, yeah, I think it's pretty easy to say what is, say, to see what the goal with this game is. 
it's just a fun little, uh, yeah, speedrun platformer. That speedrun in the lower, <laughs> not in capital letters or anything, but just a low goo. <clears throat> Right. Now you said, uh, uh, something that you made. Why do you say don't start earlier? Uh, because Clay were the developers of uh, Don't Starve. I did not know that. Okay. Well, yeah, simple get from A to B, try not to die, and yeah, just have some fun and race against your friends. Because I'm pretty sure this is multiplayer as well, beyond just setting times. But honestly, me. They're making I Expect You to Die 3 now. That's coming out soon. <laughs> okay. Pink Polynesian. Sign. Party hat. Of course, cosmetics all over the place. Okay. And... Uh... Okay, just the stars getting added. <laughs> Apparently, I'm in third place now. Okay. Living on the, le living on the ledge. I saw a Canadian flag. <laughs> oh, and apparently it's dropping <laughs> with this as well. Okay. Let's see. We don't have much of a max speed at the moment. Let's see. Spend less than 25 seconds on the ground, no death, grab the golden pin, okay, and finish under 55 seconds, okay. But it must be something... Uh, that goes to no death. There's something about Canada I don't get, like, even Canadians had joked about this. Okay. What then? That, uh, that... Uh, how to say that, that... Currently, can Canadians are experiencing their 90s. Okay. It almost confused me. Like, like the simple hint that they're usually in clothing and style a decade behind USA or something, and I'm confused if they are serious or what the heck is going on. It doesn't sound serious to me, just more yeah. teasing. And I get even comedians joke about it. Okay, there we go. Uh, but yeah, I don't think this would be much... It, this would be a multiplayer stream game. And let's see, G18. Uh, yeah, just... Do you get the reference here, Helium? G.I. Joe. Good boy. Uh, sorry, I mean, good captain. Don't hit me. <laughs> okay, a pixel hazard. Calculator watch sticker. Uh, I'm guessing that was a hat. Uh, let's see. Okay, in last place there. We're seventh. So, oh no, is that the stars that we have? Yes, that's the stars that we have. Okay. Cool. I'm guessing there's a golden pin in every level or something. Maybe on the ledge. Let's see. Hey, yes, that's a part for that. That's a part of living on the yeah. edge. Yep. So horrible. And yeah, it looks like there's a golden pin in each of these levels. Okay, let's do one more and then we'll call it Surfing Surfaces. Okay, that's what these are. Ooh. Okay, they are very slippery to the sides as well. Okay, landing on surfs lets you go faster. Okay, you have 10 meters per second there for a second. Okay. Oh, we can also just go straight along the middle. Okay, oop. Close calls. There we go, oop. Flick away from the, oh, to disconnect and keep your speed. Okay. Oh. Now we can just also go along the edge of it, but that doesn't give us as much speed. Okay, fight violence with action, really. Okay. King Scepter, a bandana hair. 
Okay, how was our time? 33, 43, why did I say almost 33? Okay. I thought, I just realized something here. Hmm? I'm zooming out to this game. Okay, just not interesting, or? I think it's just so much gooey all that I just zoom out. Okay. Uh, like, hello. I, I, I return to whenever we finished it and get the rewards. But whenever the jumping, I try to focus and suddenly brain shots down. But yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure we can guess what is going on with this. This is just uh, a bunch of kids having fun with, well, the floor is lava. But yeah, let's call it there. I might, I would definitely be up for trying this out with uh, <clears throat> with Rom and Liz in the bunch, and just to have some fun with if they have it as well. And let's see. This. Okay, there's equip. Okay, there's equipable at once. Boost jump. Lean left or right when you jump to gain speed. Okay, slide jump. Ball jump. Okay. And we have our characters here. We have Hazard, Gen Forcer, Enforcer, Lex Explorer, <laughs> Explorer, Tsunami, Lord Sludge, <laughs> and Poison. Okay, <laughs> these are extremely 90s. Yeah, very Ladies. Captain Planets. Oh gosh, I used, I used to watch a lot of Captain Planet as a kid. The problem is, I think I was too young to pay attention to what they were talking about. Same with Transformers. I think I was, I was young enough to like it, but young, too young to really pay attention to what was going on. And just random stuff we can stick onto our characters. <laughs> Oop. Uh, victory la labels or something, <laughs> but yeah, it, uh, just a little bit, and we've already made our character absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. And what's this action for? Okay. Uh, full name unknown. Specialty martial artist. Uh, martial arts, hand-to-hand -hand combat. No one knows whether Hazard's hazmat suit is a functional necessity. Or merely an extreme lifestyle choice, but we do know that photos exist of him wearing the suit when he was only seven years old, leading many experts to wonder where they can pick up tiny hazmat suits for their own children. Uh, okay, the man with the van. A, a visit from Hazard. <laughs> okay, there's a lot of there's a lot of we, we can even read these. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, a, a lot of love put into this game. Yeah, and a lot of homage to that era. Okay, but the gym class, is that... Okay, different walls, the playgrounds, Sunshine Shore, Get HQ, Journey. Yep, lots of places, lots of levels. Okay, I, I'll, I'll definitely be trying this game out some more myself and see if I can get the others to play it as well for a bit. Uh, maybe oh next Wednesday we can try again for a multiplayer stream. We'll just see what we would stream then. Maybe Borderlands, maybe something else. But for now... Uh, wait, what? Is that a Mutant and Masterminds book? It's, it says Mutant and something. M... or Mutant Mayhem. Okay. Mutant and Masterminds is a tabletop game. Very flexible. Uh, is that a Yu-Gi-Oh card? Uh, no, that's... I'm guessing... <laughs> I'm guessing that's a GAT card. Of, yeah, of course it, it would it, get a, a, a card game as well. Yeah, it kind of looks like a Pokemon card or something. It kind of has that aesthetic style. Okay. But, yeah. That'll be it for this Showcase Sunday. So let's head on over here and summarize. <laughs> yes. I still need to figure out why the stream deck is just so slow at times. Me. Maybe I need to, let's see. Maybe if I go to the details over here and set it up as a high priority thing. Let's see. Uh, done that before. Extra. 
Mm. So that's Steam Deck, Stream Deck there. Set priority high there. Okay, there should be I, there should be ways of setting those permanently. So just a little test. Okay, now it reacts instantly. Maybe because it's been woken up, so to say. Maybe because I changed that. Uh, but yeah, let's go over the games that we did. Then we go look for someone to raid. And let's see. First off, we have Hidden Deep. And I'm definitely curious. Same. So, Earlier I was thinking no, for many YouTubers didn't pick it up, for they only did a showcase, but now, after seeing this second level, I, I agree with you. And typically we, typically on some of these games we would say, depending on how long it would be, you know, how long it would take, but I can just open it up on the, <laughs> how long to beat.com on the browser here. And let's see, hidden deep, give it a second to load. Okay, 15 hours, nothing too bad. Though it is red, so not many people have just, uh, have done a test on this. So, uh, doable, definitely. Uh, doable. Uh, then there is Hive Swap Friend Sim. And though <laughs> I guess that could be a very funny game for the people who are into that. Uh, I'm a bit less so. Um, I'd say a no on that. Yeah. I think I... I think I would watch someone do that on YouTube, then have that as part of our streams. Yeah. Uh, next up, we have Hob, which, according to how long? Yeah. How long to beat? Uh, Ten to sixteen hours if you go for com uh, for completion. So also very doable. I'd say a yes on that as well. Then. All right. Longer than expected, but. I am curious. No, I think the, the reason I really is other games we have without dialogue were usually very weird ones, like yeah, that pixel bloodborne like one that had me really confused. Yeah, Elden something. And then I had that other one where you basically a puzzle running. Over the different dimensions, upside down, and everything like that. Yeah, that one was. It started with an E. It, similar to Elytra, or no, it wasn't Eldritch. We did a one differently. That's a 3D game, a 3D pixelish, you know, a voxel game. Yeah. Uh, okay, yeah. Dude, we can put yeah. some dialogue between, but. That was just a different philosophical can of worms. Yeah, more like a chill game of sorts. Uh, next up, Homeworld Remastered. Again, very good game to my knowledge, but not really my style. And, well, honestly, I would get my ass kicked. <laughs> yeah. Like... We, we've seen how that... We've seen how I am with strategy games with uh, impossible creatures. Yeah, that, that war game was kind of unbalanced. There was many times you should have won, but uh, the AI obviously cheated. Yeah, uh, though we could starve them out still. And then Hot Lava. Not for any main or side quest streaming, but I would definitely be up for multiplayer streaming that every now and then, just to have a little fun with that. Yeah, I will not play it. And uh, yeah, that's about that's the games that we had today. I had more prepped just in case, but there were, those will get saved for next week. So for now, let me change the screen share to the browser, and then we go look for someone to raid. Yeah, mm. and hopefully, hopefully, folks, more Omradin in the evening. Yep. Uh, well, our let's evening. See. <laughs> let's see. I'm Nice is streaming Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, Puffle... Uh, weren't, okay, they were named Puffle Cakey before, I'm pretty sure, but it seems they've shortened it to Puffle. Uh, mute the tab. Let's go take a peek. They're streaming GTA V. And, oh, okay, Redacted Cat is streaming Games Plus Demos. Uh, let's see. No invites, Fight Cades, Cats and Fight Cades, the Fight Cats, uh, Okay, I'm guessing he's running a some sort of demo then or something. We're going to there in the pre-stream. Hmm. Uh, ta -ta -ta -ta. 
Yeah, they they went live at exactly 5 p.m. here. Uh, uh, okay, I'm not I'm not sure about what it is that he's going to be. Probably some sort of fighting game from everything in there. Uh, next up, we have <clears throat> Kiwi Nuts Yoko, who is streaming Left 4 Dead 2. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> what? Is that the Yakuza with eyes or what the heck that you don't get yourself into? Uh, I guess that's some sort of icebox, chal icebox challenge. <laughs> uh, and. Okay. And Jeez, that's the people in our dream. typical range. Uh, though there is someone here that looks a little bit interesting among the recommended. Uh, a game called Exo Prime, Exo Primal, being streamed by Delinquent Ghosts. I have heard of that I game. I recognize that game. Okay. Uh, it's so it choose to be pixelated for me. <laughs> it was for me as well. Uh, okay, I'm seeing mech suit, but people outside of mech suit, so some sort of... Uh... Oh, wait, I remember now. This this is one of the uh, dino shooter games. Oh, yeah, the one that pissed off people. Okay. Uh, it, but they, they, saw, they, they have made one character that probably reference to Regina from Dino Crisis. Okay. And that pissed me so hard for people want Dino Crisis Remake, and they got this instead. <laughs> now you can okay. see why people got pissed. Yeah. Okay, there, I, I know of another Dino Shooter game, but that's more uh, extraction uh, genre, and that is called uh, Second Extinction. I don't know if oh, they've been busy with that game. Let me actually take a peek on Steam for when the last yeah, patch okay. was. Wait, I forgot. Have we done showcase Sunday of X Second Extinction, or did you just show me on private stream? Uh, I think I just showed you privately. Uh, let's see. Full launch planned for 2023. 20, uh, okay. Uh, but that uh, after already having a post underneath it for full launch on November 2022. Okay. Uh, not going great with that. Let's have a little look at the reviews. Okay, that is a mix. Recent reviews, very negative. All reviews, mostly positive. Okay, let me take a quick peek. Uh, Sounds like there might be some uh, recent update with issues. Okay, there, people are saying that it's been abandoned before they even launched. Okay. Uh, avoid any product from systemic reaction. Expect that any product from them is a cash grab with zero intention of following up on any claims or promises. Okay. That is definitely disappointing because I did play it for a while and it was fun, but if it's being linked by a bunch of jackass developers... Oh, there's the same people behind Generation Zero. Okay. Uh, G Generation Zero is rather janky as well. Hmm. Okay, I'll need to look more uh, into these people. Wasn't uh, Generation guess... Zero at least still being worked on? Uh, let me check when was the last update on that. It is currently on sale. Yeah, for uh, I think let me showcase it. I think you said it had only recently gotten an update. Uh, let's see, June 9th. Uh, not a patch, but uh, at least a post on that. Uh, let's see. Uh, last patch was in May twenty. Was on May twenty fifth. So they are still somewhat working on this, but hmm. Yeah, I, I I guess they could have ended up abandoning one game for another, but uh, not a good look, at least for them. Hmm. Okay, enough on that. Um, who shall we rate then? Oh, good question. Oh, Sour Walrus has come online with Sons of the Forest. Or shall I just pick? I will let you pick. Just not... Just not... Not Exoprimal. Not Exoprimal. Okay, let's go give I'm Nice a visit then. 
And oh, apparently they've moved over to doing a bit of a card unpacking. Um, the first I see is a card with the written words offensive scent. <laughs> okay, copy the name, head on over to our place. Slash raid and paste. Uh, before we do that, of course, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. And thank you as always, Drakir. You're welcome as always, my friend. And yeah, as uh, Drakir so eagerly said, if we do another stream today, which would be in about three hours, two, um, two hours, 50 minutes about, uh, we will be continuing with the return of the Oprah Din. And there shouldn't be anything to get in the way. But there's always still a chance. So, uh, yeah. Let's start up that raid. And, yeah. Thank you all again for watching. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, everyone. And watch out for... Uh... Exo Primal. I was to say uh, lava on the floor. But let's go with that as well. <laughs> uh, and still, Stream Deck is being slow on the...